various law enforcement agencies conducted an operation on Monday, 14th August, 2023, at Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. The operation, uh, ladies and gentlemen, resulted in the seizure of various items. Perhaps most important to mention is that uh, this particular aircraft was seized by ourselves and other law enforcement officers. We also put in our dogs, as you know, of K9 division here. They went on the aircraft to ensure that we know what was in there. And this is what we seized from the aircraft to start with. A total sum of 5,697,700 United States dollars. 5,697,700 United States dollars. On the same aircraft, we also seized five firearms, namely pistols. We also seized seven magazines. Magazines are those items where you put in the, the rounds before loading onto a firearm. We also seized 126 rounds of ammunition. In addition to that, we also seized 602 pieces of suspected gold weighing 127.2 kgs. We also seized equipment that is used for measuring gold. I'm sure it's for verifying whether this is gold or it's not gold. They had that, that equipment on board. What is important to note here, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, as regards the suspected gold, we had the Minister of uh, Mines personnel with us, but they, have, they just did a presumptive test, so they will now get down to verify what kind of gold it is or if it's gold at all. As regards the money, we are certain that uh, these are genuine dollars because the Bank of Zambia came in and they're the ones that counted. And right now, as we speak, just after we finish the verification of the quantities of the money, everything has been taken into the safe custody of the Bank of Zambia. As the procedure, whenever a vessel is carrying illegal substances or goods, when we seize those goods, we also seize the vessel. So in that line, we have seized the aircraft, which was carrying these items that I mentioned. The aircraft is, is called the Global Express T7-WW. And we have also seized another aircraft. This time, this one belongs to a local airline, whose make, the make of the aircraft is King Air B-90. Now, the reason we've seized this other aircraft is to help us in our investigations. There's some connection that we have seen as we're investigating this particular matter. So we've seized, in short, two aircraft. I must mention that in this operation, we have uh, so far detained, not yet arrested, detained 10 suspects, including a Zambian. They are in custody as I speak. And the chances are that the number of people to be detained will rise. As you might appreciate, this operation was just last night leading into this morning. So a lot is still being done. So that is where we are. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Director General Sir. We'll now allow uh, some questions from the media. So you can just uh, let us know which media house you're from. So you can start and start. My name is um, Kuima Chilala from Millennium Radio. Uh, DG, you've not told us uh, whether Zambia was just a transit or the final destination, and secondly, uh, where this plane was coming from. Thirdly, the nationals of the nine people that have been detained. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that. Any anyone else? Where was it coming from? Was Zambia the destination? And uh, the nationalities of the people. Okay, thank you very much. The aircraft was from Cairo in Egypt. And uh, it was actually headed to Zambia. The itinerary, what, the, 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 according to the manifest, it indicates that it was supposed to fly back again to, to Egypt. That is what we have as of now. 
the nationalities of the people that were detained, we have six Egyptians, one Spanish, one Dutch, one Nevisian, I'm not sure which part of the planet this country is, that were on the plane. And the preliminary information that we have is that they were coming to Zambia to carry out some business transactions. As you may appreciate, we decided to give you a preliminary release. We have not yet interrogated the matter to an extent where we can give you a comprehensive position where we will tell you now this is where we are heading to. So these are the nationalities. Uh, just as a follow-up, uh, the, the items that have been seized, um, is it cargo that was coming from Zambia or they came with a plane? Just clarity on that. Yes. That one is something that we will have to have clearly after we are done with the investigations. But what is important is that these items have been seized and they were found on the aircraft. Does that help? Thank you. Thank you so much, colleagues. Is there any other person with a question for our Director General this morning? Right. Um, uh, there is a question or did yes. it conclude? Okay. Just one more question. Okay. Uh, probably the, the name of the other um, the company, this uh, private um, other airline, uh, the local airline. The local airline. Yeah, uh, normally when we are carrying out investigations, it's not really advisable to mention other issues that we see that are still being investigated because sometimes we might find that there's nothing on them, but then the name will keep going like we got them. So we want to protect them at the moment. Once they give us their part of the story, then we'll be able to get back to you as to whether it's going to be part of the activities or they'll be allowed to be our witnesses as we proceed with the case. Prudence Tota from Kamne TV. I just want to find out, the Zambian person involved in this scenario, are they politically inclined or it's just an ordinary citizen? Uh, I don't know how we want to differentiate an ordinary citizen from a politically inclined. They are all citizens, aren't they? So these are Zambians that we're investigating. I think we can leave it at that for now. But just understand one thing. I think maybe I, I, I know where you're coming from. Um, as a commission, when we're carrying out investigations, we, as much as possible, do not bring in the actual names of the people until we are sure that they are actually involved in the criminal activity. So for now, all the speculation going on, just take it as mere speculation until you get it from this desk. And I want to assure you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, that we shall be available for you, just like we are here for you. The moment we are done, a couple of days from now, we know what is going on, we'll give you a very comprehensive release with names of people that are, are going to be charged, the offenses they're going to be charged with, and when we expect them to appear in court, everything will be given to you. But for now, we can tell you that uh, we can't say whether it's politically inclined person or it's whatever. They are some Zambian citizens that are involved, and we're going to deal with them squarely. Because the law must be applied fairly. And that's what we're going to do. Just, just to clarify, you said it's nine foreign Yes. So for now, it's nine foreigners and one Zambian, but I'm saying we may actually have more Zambians involved as we go on with the investigation. But in custody right now, nine foreigners, one Zambian. Thank you so much. We've come to the end of our press briefing for today. You had another question? I'm just asking on behalf of one of the viewers who's asking to say who cleared the plane when it landed in Zambia, who cleared for the landing? Well, we have the authorities that do that. I think they are very well known. So we plan to land. We have the authorities at the airport that do that. Yes. So what is important to note for you as journalists and to, through you to the people of Zambia is that this particular aircraft has a few problems around it and they, it's very clear that they came for illegal activities. And that is why we were alerted and we acted. Can okay, that be the last one? Yes. Okay. Yes, did you, it's just a quick one. Um, my name is Munya from News Diggers. Are you in a position to indicate where the suspects are currently detained? No, 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 no. no. You want to go and start slapping? <laughs> yeah. You see, when, 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 when we pick even yourself, my dear, from News Diggers, uh -huh. we won't tell the people where we've kept you for your own safety. The people that don't want you, they'll follow you there and do you harm. So we're keeping them somewhere, they are very safe. We need them. We need them so we prove our case. Thank you so much, Felix. You've come to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much. All the best.